Hello, in this video we're going to do a problem involving an arithmetic sequence. The question says, write the first four terms of the arithmetic sequence. We're told that a sub 1, which is the first term, is equal to 1 over 5, and d, which is called the common difference, is equal to 1 over 10. Let's go ahead and carefully work through this solution. So let's think about uh, everything as a number over 10 because we have to add 1 over 10 over and over again and even for that first addition we kind of want to think about 1 over 5 as a number over 10. So if you multiply it by 2 over 2 we get that a sub 1 is really the same thing as 2 over 10. Okay let's start writing our answer down now. So the first term is 2 over 10. The second one, well, we just add d, right? Because it's an arithmetic sequence, to get the rest of the terms, we just keep adding d, which is 1 over 10. So 2 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 3 over 10. And that gives us the second term. To get the third term, we add d again, because it's an arithmetic sequence. So 3 over 10 plus 1 over 10 is 4 over 10. And then adding it again is going to give us 5 over 10. And we can keep going. It would be 6 over 10, 7 over 10, etc. It does keep going, but the question wants just the first four terms. Now, you could leave it like this, but it's not really ideal because it's not simplified. So let's go ahead and simplify our answer here. So instead of 2 over 10, we can think of this as 1 over 5 by reducing it. And 3 over 10 is just 3 over 10. 4 over 10 is really 2 over 5. And 5 over 10 is 1 half. So when they're written like this, the pattern is much harder to see, right? You can't, it's harder to just look at this and say, oh yeah, I can see the pattern. That's why it's beneficial to save time at the beginning and write everything with a common denominator. Hopefully this has been helpful to you if you're learning arithmetic sequences. Hope it's been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.